And the teenager who shot his classmates yesterday near Dallas has been released from jail after posting bond. And as school shootings continue to be a concern throughout the country, NTD's Jason Perry spoke with a public safety advisor about the best steps to ensure safe schools. According to EverytownResearch.org, in 2021, there were 101 incidents of gunfire on school grounds, resulting in 21 deaths and 56 injuries nationwide. Jim Fuda, who is the co-founder of Crime Stoppers Global Solutions, gave some advice on gun safety in schools. I actually think the mentor program of, of having officers in schools, I know it, 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 it's, it's expensive, but you know, some of this goes back to the family, where, where if, if people legitimately have firearms, that they should, uh, um, uh, they should be secure where, um, where your children can't get a hold of them. Shannon Watts is the founder of Moms Demand Action, which seeks solutions to the issue of gun violence. She agreed that there's a need for guns to be locked up at home. Parents need to understand it's their responsibility to keep their guns securely stored. The onus is always on adults to securely store firearms, not on children and teens to be told to stay away from them. But in the high school shooting in Texas, the teenager obtained his gun illegally. I asked Fuda what if one of the shooter's classmates knew he had brought a gun to school prior to the shooting. Many schools have um, a, an anonymous tip app that so it takes the stigma away from from being from stitching someone off. Some of it is a police related thing. Some of it is let's say a kid's going to commit was talking about committing suicide. That friend or person can can actually turn that in, and that and that student can get some can get some help and remains completely anonymous. He recommends using the app called P3 Tips, and it could possibly prevent the next shooting from happening. 